Hey guys, my name is Scott Brown and I'm the pastor of the Valley Church and I just want to share a little thought with you today. Uh, I, would, I would like to have a, a daily devotional, some kind of reflection. And today's reflection is about loss. There's a chapter in John chapter 11, there's a passage where Lazarus dies. And Jesus was real good friends with Lazarus. He was good friends with his sisters, you know, uh, Martha and Mary. And uh, when he comes to the house where Lazarus is dead, first Martha comes out and says, Lord, if you would have been here, you could have saved him. And they get into this little uh, little discussion, little not argument, but they, they start talking about doctrine and doctrinal beliefs and teachings. And it's like, uh, well, yeah, I mean, if you believe, he will be raised from the dead. And she goes, yeah, I know all about the resurrection and the end times and the last days. And he's, no, 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 you don't get it. I am the resurrection. I am life. It's not about your knowledge and what you know. It's about me. It's about your relationship with me. That's what's important. And uh, and so there's there's this intellectual in, uh, exchange that Jesus has with Martha. Then he keeps walking and he gets to the house and there's Mary and she comes out to greet him the exact same way. Lord, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And he didn't say anything. He didn't get to an intellectual uh, exchange or debate. The Bible gives us the shortest verse in the entire Bible. And it shows us the heart of God. And Jesus wept. That's all it says. He didn't say anything. He just cried. And that's because God wants to have a personal relationship with us. He knows us. He knows what we need. Some of us, we need the intellectual understanding. We need to study it out and we need to have these talks and what does the Bible say? And I want to understand and dig deeper And others. We just want to know that God's hurting with us. And believe me, if you are suffering loss of any kind, maybe it's not a death of a family or maybe it's, it's the loss of a job. Maybe it's the loss of a friend, not in death, but you just, you just parted ways and you, you, you just don't, you, you know, you lost the friendship. Maybe it's uh, a divorce. Maybe it's your kid that went off to college. I don't know what loss you're going through, but I just want you to know that God wants to have a personal relationship with you and he feels for you. He's crying with you. He's sad with you. He feels your heart. He wants to be there. It's not in what you know that's going to get you through what you're going through. It's your relationship with God. You need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you don't have it, all you need to do to start it is say a prayer, is talk to him, invite him to be a part of your life. Just say right now, just say right now, God, I, forgive me for my sin. I know that my sin drives a wedge between you and I. And I was born into sin and I am a sinner. I'm born dead spiritually but I want you to come into my life. Fill me with your spirit. Give me new life. Make me your son. Give me everlasting life. I wanna be your child. I wanna be your daughter. And help me now that I have you and I'm in your family to get to know you every day more and more so I can be like you and I can know your mind and your heart and have that relationship that will give me hope no matter the circumstances I'm going through. Thank you for that gift of life. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. And I hope if you just made that decision, you'll share it. Just write a little comment underneath saying, I just said this prayer. I just received Jesus in my heart. We would love to rejoice with you. God says there's a party in heaven when someone receives Jesus. And we want to be just rejoice with you. And again, re uh, remember that uh, the source of all your hope, the source of of, of all that, when you're going through a loss, what you need is Jesus. What you need is to be close to God. And I hope that this brings you a little closer to him. All right, you guys have a great day. Love you guys, love you in the Lord. I send hugs and kisses to everyone. May God bless you.